the 23-24 Syracuse women's basketball team will go down as a resilient family, a group that fought, scratched, and clawed through everything together, a team that fell just short to the 11-time national champion UConn Huskies in the second round of the NCAA tournament. While the season has come to a close for the Orange, the message is clear. It wasn't a funeral on Monday night, but a celebration instead. This was the best year of my career. And, you know, that's probably the thing that I look back at. Uh, when I had the choice to leave, I didn't know that this would be the best year of my career. We went through a lot together, and if they hurt, and you know, you, you hurt too. Um, even though it's a, a hurt, that's a good thing, you know, because they they love each other. The way they, the things that we had to go through to get to this point, to see that the fights were necessary to get to this love part of, of your heart, it, it, it just reminds me that we got to continue to push through, push forward with the culture that we're building at Syracuse University. And, and the character that's in, in, it's necessary to, 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 even though you feel like you're being wronged at times, you got to push through that for that character. And these ladies have done the work and they brought the, 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 the standards from Buffalo. Syracuse was projected to finish ninth in the conference, ended up tying the program record in regular season wins. A second year bench boss in Felicia Leggett Jack, who earned herself the first ACC Coach of the Year in school history. There's no doubt the future is bright for SU women's hoops, and they have the right mentality to do it as one. Reporting in stores, Andrew Delpiana, Citrus TV.